You know what time it is. It's time to get delayed by a goddamn egg. You're six minutes late tonight because of this stupid ass egg in my hands. I've been peeling it for about 17 minutes because the shell of it absolutely will not let go of the skin and the skin of it absolutely will not let go of the flesh so this has just been a slow tedious stupid fucking hack job of an egg peeling and I still have a whole third other goddamn egg to get to it's just gonna be a simple dinner but it's like no I have to fucking engage in blood sports to peel this goddamn egg I'll show you- I'll show you the- the goddamn massacre that is the entirety of this egg once I'm done here. I've got- I've just got like a smidgen left, but I have to- I can only peel at it in like teeny bits. God. It's half the- the flakes I try to get off just like end up taking a chunk out of the egg. I'm like, that's- that's my meal. That's what I want to eat. I want to eat that egg. Now I'm reduced to like scraping the bits of flesh that are stuck to the shell off the backside. God damn it. So that's the only way I can get at all this del delicious egg dinner. Alright. Here it is. This is. Hold up. Ah, my shoulder's too close to the mic thingy. And by mic thingy, I just mean microphone. It's like that huge chunk in the top was just me getting impatient, like just then. And it's like you can, it's like the yolk is exposed. It's just like holy shit! It looks like an actual raccoon. Well, I mean, an actual raccoon had had they gone at this, it would have just been, you know, gone. There would be no egg, but it looks like I don't know what's something way tinier than a raccoon that couldn't just like devour the egg in like under a second and would actually have to attack the damn thing I don't know looks like a very 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 old dog's chew toy god the whole thing just like comes right the fuck apart Ugh. I gotta eat all the skin now too cuz I couldn't peel any of that off who were we um. okay cool cool Took so damn long it got cold. The other egg's still warm, still wrapped in its toasty shell. This one? Goddamn cold. That's how long it took me to peel all the shell off of it. While still leaving most of the egg intact. Mmm. That's a pretty reasonable path right there. Hmm. So, I get three bonfires in exchange for having to fight a super elite. And I can leverage that to either take a third elite or just take the third bonfire. Interesting. I think I like that. Turnip. Turnip. Not against Slime Boss. <sighs> That's the only way that Turnip becomes really good in this act, unfortunately. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shell's just coming off. And the skin's just peeling off, so I don't have to eat it. This is, this is how an egg ought to peel. You know, you lose you know, lose no egg matter. It doesn't take you a quarter of an hour. 
Skin just like comes right off, like it's nothing. Like wet toilet paper. And not like hard goddamn leather. Yeah, and you can just you can just slide your thumb right under there. It's like uh, it's like uh what is it, shucking oysters? You just shuck it. Shuck the whole egg. Isn't that That's why Shuckle is named Shuckle. Maybe? I don't know, he's not really an oyster, he's kinda like a weird turtle thing. Alright. So, none of the elites in this act make me frail, which means this turnip doesn't do very much. And we're not fighting Slime Tony, which means this turnip doesn't do very much. Which is not the ideal situation. I think I still go for it. It'll be really good come act two. Mmm. And in fights like this. Like, it can definitely save me some health throughout the act, but, I mean... How long did that take? Like, two minutes? Not even? And boom. I'm, like, basically done the egg. That other egg took so goddamn long. Yep. Don't care about your frail. Easy. It took me more time to finish eating and peeling the second egg, having already done 90% of the work off stream, than it did to peel and eat that entire egg. The other reason I'm late is because my computer restarted earlier. So I needed extra time to reopen all the different windows, the chat window, uh, the event list, um, my audio program, the chat bot, etc, etc, etc. And that on top of how long the goddamn egg was taking. Meant that we were just a couple minutes late today. Man, my knee is really itchy all of a sudden. Uh, hmm. Well, that's annoying, but... First damage of the run was bound to happen sooner or later. I don't think I've ever... I mean, if I went back down to, like, Ascension Zero, I could probably do a run... Whoa, 413. I could probably do a run where I take no damage the whole way through. I've been offered two banes and two outmaneuvers, and this is only my second card reward screen. It's not... It's not ideal. Hey, a big boy. Well, there's all my strikes, so rip next turn. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Called it. He was gonna be buffing, and I was not, uh, not gonna have anything to do. Here we go. Fuck, dude, he still has, like, 13 health. I need to, like, draw three strikes and neutralize? Even that's not enough. Yeah. This is the third hallway fight? Holy shit. Yeah, I don't have lethal. I sure do not have lethal. Ooh, six damage? There we go. I can't, I can't take these. So, I, let's try one more time. Try one more time. What would I get here? Predator? Dash? I'm trying to think of any other attacks that would be really good here. I'd take a backstab. It's not ideal since I only get to use it once. <clears throat> D 
Die, die, die is in sort of the same boat. Just slowly whittling him down. Cool. The lethal anyway. Quick slash it is. We've got some decent potions at least. Um, if we fight like a villain, yeah, I I have to upgrade this quick slash over the neutralize. I think. Okay, it was not like a villain. Um, I feel like this is probably the fire potion over the power potion. This is definitely going to hurt a lot. I have no defensive scaling whatsoever. Neat. So what is he at? He's at 18, plus the, the vulnerable. So the strength goes up to by 3. Jesus, he goes up to 31. Mm. No, that's not right. He's at, um, he's not at 18, he's at 16. Yeah. So it goes up to 19, he goes up to 28. There's no way... So the survivor probably just breaks even? Yeah. Huh. Wow, I had to- I had to draw exactly. Strike, strike. Quick slash. Neutralize for to not get attacked this turn So it turns out the survivor actually saved me four health I think I'll take a single dagger spray Uh, Yeah, let's get almost all the way back up to full. Okay. All right Cool glad I grabbed the dagger spray metallicize Interesting choice I am, you know, it's possible that I should have used this, yeah. So I missed out on, what did I play, it was quick slash neutralize. Did I play a third card before? I did the thousand cuts. Hmm. Yeah, I've got no way of making sure he dies. I think I missed out on either one or two damage to all of them. We'll see if that ends up mattering. Man, this metallicize is really fucking rough. Cool. All right, cool. Fuck. I just don't get to do damage. All right. I guess neither did they, but fuck you on me. Yeah, really, really could have used a predator here. Get them. Still have a lot of health to, to dig through. Having to dig through an extra, like, four health every goddamn turn, though, is a real pain in the ass. Alright. I'll take five damage here so that I don't have to take more damage throughout the fight. Do that just for the extra one damage.
Okay, um, shit. I was gonna say, hopefully I kill him before the next time he attacks, and then I looked at what's actually in my deck, and, uh, nope. That ain't happening. So I think the one health did matter, because there was a time when I could have killed the front guy, and I had to neutralize him instead. And I was thinking about neutralizing him to get rid of the artifact. If I had, he would have died. Or he, I, I would have been able to weaken him there. Corpse Explosion is a card. I, I think I'll take it. How much do I heal? 20... 35? Take another elite. Old man Lagalvulin. This takes a while to like actually do damage. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna wake him up like this. Well, actually, this gets me eight damage. No, 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 no. that's. It's a better way to spend my energy this turn. I don't think... I have no potion, so I don't think I can afford to double block there. I think I gotta go ham. And then I'm gonna draw neutralize the turn he's not attacking. Magnificent. I would've really liked Corpse Explosion this turn, though. You know. You know, build him up to 9 poison. Oh yeah, I'm like actually dead. This is uh, that's the end of the run. Not yet. Whoo, one health left. Every time with that neutralize. Every time. against Hexaghost? God, this deck is so bad. I am... I'm just, like, done. I have one health. Um, you know, all things considered. Maybe I should heal up so I don't just... die next floor. I'm gonna have to nap again. I have this snack oil, which is not great. Oh, this does 12 damage. I can just kill this guy. Well, that's handy. Shh. All right. Take two damage. Yeah. Had I not, uh, had I not healed there, I would have just died. Alrighty. Got a letter opener, which occasionally deals damage to something. At this point, I don't think Skewer is what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, there's no way I kill him by the time he does his second big attack. Which means I have to nap. Because I'm certainly not out blocking it either. Unupgraded. Neutralize. Perfect. Boy, oh boy. That's, uh, that's a mighty move you have there. The only way is to just like really, really stack the shit out of that poison. Which the deck's not like crazy good at doing. <sighs> Final block two damage. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm dead? Because of the burn? Not dead. But now I'm snackoed. Which basically means I'm dead. 
Well, I put up a good effort, but Rare Relic was a brick. Cards were bricks. Bricks were bricks. Brick. I... If I had like four more turns, I might have killed him. 240. Not a prideful score, but it's the one I have. Sup, Waylo? Okay. Which is a real shame, too, since I managed to go through three elites and get up to the boss with over 50 health and still just, like, did not manage to pull any, any real value out of that. Super unfortunate. Don't really want to go to two shops. There's two elites, two bonfires this way. And that way. And this way. No, um... If you were here earlier when I was talking about egg problems, that was why. It was already, like, at one when I was still, like, trying to get everything set up, and I was just like, fuck. Fuck. Yes. No, I posted no announcements. None of my social media announcements, not the Discord announcement, nothing. What do I like better? Okay, so it's the same up until this point. So we've got to go through a few more fights before I get to the fire. And there's no shop. Yeah, I like this way better then. I think I'm going to take the pouch. Take the pouch. Cool. Um, yeah, I can just full block this. I cannot just full block this. Wow. What a dinger. What a bingle. Got him. It's floor one ball lightning. I'll take it. See you later, Strikeinator. Excuse me. It's possible that should have been a dual cast. I don't think it's going to matter very soon. Yeah. See you later. And a cold snap. Okie dokie. And I get to find some potions anyway. Suck it. Three potions option. <laughs> Looks like I'm fighting this man for dinner. Kill him? Oh, that would have been great. Alright, well, that full blocks, so... Just gonna do the fight like that. I haven't got a potion from a fight yet, so we're getting pretty close to being quite likely for that to happen soon. Um, this pops him, so I'm not going to do that. Nope, only two energy on damage. Here we go. Well, I guess I'm blocking twice, that's fine. Of all the classes, I feel like Defect has the easiest time with uh, Legavulin. Just because you're very likely to get a bunch of free block and frost, which does not at all care about his... Uh... Mm. About his particular mechanic. Sick. It's like this 16 damage no matter what. Hmm. Might want to take Sweeping Beam over FTL here. Oh 
shit, we're going to a shop real soon. I'm gonna get like 48 gold out of this mob bank. Upgrade or nap? Upgrade or nap? These potions are not fantastic. It's a 50 50 chance of Gremlin Knob. Okay, I drink the fruit juice and then I nap. Whoa! It's almost like it was meant to be. Alright, cool. I could have sworn there was a time when Sneckle Oil drew more cards than Swift Potion. And I'm thinking, like, was it at the time... Was there a time where Sneckle Oil was in the game and the Bad Potions... Um... Modifier was still the modifier for Ascension 11? Instead of just one less potion slot? Huh. I do not know. I don't know why, I don't know why that's a feeling in my brain, but it is. And Sneck Oil at least drew you an extra card. Which, you know, would be actually handy. Uh, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna just kill him here. I could've, I could've prayed to the orbs, but... I didn't. Alright, um, definitely took some damage here, but I think I'm fine. I think napping was probably a good idea. Alright, this fight's basically over. Basically. Not quite. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking two dual casts in a row. And it's just like, oh, it's a frost orb up front. Doesn't get me what I want. Okay. Hello. Two cold snaps? Two sweeping beams? Steam barrier? I think I like the second cold snap. Sundial. I could just not buy anything here. I remember last time that happened and I died. Uh, we did just pick up a pocket watch that was just really good. Like, really good. There's nothing crazy outrageous at this shop. Like, potion belt's fine. It's pretty good, but... I could also buy a fire pot. In fact, hmm. That fire potion might actually be important. I'm going to do the unwise thing and, uh... Skip it. Okay, and I want to upgrade Sweeping Beam. So I'll try to get through these fights without taking a lot of damage if I can. I don't have any scaling. Oh yeah, Pocket Watch. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Really? Hmm. Maybe I should get some more block cards. I was like, this is just no actual block cards in my deck. Magnificent. Turned off the watch. Okay. Fuck me. Um, I think he's still dead. Yeah, he's got two health. He's like the deadest dude. Cool. I'll take an equilibrium. Makes it easier to not proc pocket watch on some turns. Okay, I'm gonna have to take one damage here. Uh, if I do that, cool. I guess playing the zap got me more damage than the strike did, huh? That already gets me 14 block. Cool. Hmm.
Cool. <sighs> no scaling whatsoever. Charge battery gives me extra energy, which hmm, might go to waste. What about hologram? I think I'll take a hologram. I will take the golden idol. Gonna be rolling in the money if we actually make it out of this act. Um, yeah. I think that's still a sweeping beam upgrade. Um, this is definitely a strength pot. Gonna do that. Six, okay. Ten damage splits them. So I can absolutely split them this turn. What would the split be? It'd be 16 plus 16. 32 plus 3. 35. That's down to about 56. That's not bad. I think it's like if I get rid of a slime, that's one less slime in the deck. But also, drawing three more cards accomplishes the same thing but better. Because the, the whole, whole problem with slimes is they're not other cards. But if I'm drawing more cards, then those cards are other cards. For a second I looked up, I was like, wait a minute, I can't become frail. I'm like, no, no, that was last run. I can definitely become frail. Hmm, didn't even think about that. Um, I could have also sweeping beam hologram sweeping beamed. No, it's a little late for that shit. Uh, boy, these guys sure do have 28 health, and I sure am frail. Huh. Okie dokie. Hey, sick. It's still gonna hurt. Taking like 21 damage this turn. Yep. Can't kill you. Or can I? Please, please, this. Alright, Jesus. Let that lightning orb hit that back man. Shit! Alright. Hello. Let's just like kill this guy. Cool. Once once at a blue moon I can play uh Play Meteor Strike. What about Thunder Strike? I'm gonna have a bunch of money, which possibly means buying the stuff that makes that card work. It also might mean not that. Right now I have Ball Lightning and Zap, which is just not... I think I'm going to take it. Well, 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 well. I'm getting so much fucking gold right now that I think ectoplasm is just. It's it. I take black star. I take black star. That's that's what I'm picking. Snekowai would have been sick there. I mean, Snekowai is basically always sick. So, um, yeah, I think I can... I'm getting extra gold from other sources. I think I can hit a shop here. Who am I afraid of? The mob? Yeah. Um, no, basically everybody. I need, like, storm stuff or static discharge stuff to make this super good.
And we're fighting the big man himself. Shit. I get a whole lot of bonfires and one elite and no shops. I have a black star, so I should probably try to leverage it, but also I die. <laughs> like wherever I go. Neat. Let's do it to it. Managed to still play three cards. Hooray. Oh, baby. 14 damage. At random. On three energy. Who could say no? Yeah, this run's going to hell. That's fine. Uh, ooh, 21 damage. All right. The gold I got back. There was more of it. Sick. Um. Problem with go for the eyes is it's likely to turn off pocket watch. Ball lightning's not the kind of lightning generation I'm looking for. What if I transform two cards and just, like, prayed? I... Clicked the wrong option. <laughs> Thanks, Levi. I just straight up... Jesus Christ. For some reason, my brain thought it was the top option. I just didn't even look and I clicked it. And then a Jax went into my deck. Alright. Okay, now we need a storm. Now we need a storm. Now we need a storm. That's, uh... Alright, well, there's a scaling for the champ fight. Uh, how do we not die from here to there? Uh, I can heal 16 health. What cards am I looking for? Fuck if I know. I think I have to take the less good options. The ones that are less good in the long run. In order to make it further, God, I wish there were a pocket watch, but for energy. All right, uh, that's pretty good here. Also, Pocket Watch makes Sundial go off. Hmm. Also interesting. Now I need a Mummified Hand, a Bird Face Urn, and a Storm. And suddenly I can win. This fucker still has his full goddamn thing. And I'm actually gonna say I discharge here. Holy shit. Uh, so this does 30-something? 30 30-something 30 is not enough. Wait, what if I do this? This does 49? That kills him? Alright. Whoo! Alright. Huh. Whoo, boy. Master strategy is not nearly as good with pocket watch. It's like I Can play master of strategy or I cannot play master of strategy and draw the cards next turn I get 24 gold 
by not buying anything here. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy the war paint though. I don't think it hits anything particularly strong. I'd rather just save the money, go to the next shop. That's a mummified hand. It's like, sorry, data disc, but that's a mummified hand. What would I remove at this point? I mean, those chills are like our only frost orbs, so not those. Nothing. Probably replace Sneka oil with weak potion. Okay. Um, I might have to skip the second elite, but, you know, let's see. Okay, book of stabbing. Um, not the best. Not the best. This is probably just focus potion now. I might have to use both of my potions for this fight. I'm just, like, not getting creative AI into play. Seems likely, likely, since he attacks every turn. Or I just hope it hits Equilibrium? Did not hit Equilibrium. Um, that's actually still kind of fine. Yeah, still full blocked it. Echo Form's a little rough. Hit the dual cast, okie dokie. Um, yeah, still full blocked. Still managed to play exactly three cards. And I get to Sundial. Hello. Oh, right, Echo Form. Didn't think about that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna turn off the old pocket watch here. I think that's fine. Holy shit. Uh, if I play it twice, he dies. Alright, uh, Happy Fire is gonna help a little bit. Um. <sighs> Reinforced Body is just real rough on three energy. I didn't lose health? Lost like four health or something. Okay. Um, I think I can go for another elite. So obviously I'd want to upgrade creative AI. Ideally. Just lets me do more stuff. I also got really lucky on the powers I got, so maybe I shouldn't lean into it too hard. Maybe napping's more important. I do have zero potions. I should have thought of that. Should have thought of that before I went here. Okay, so now we're just praying R and Jesus. Oh boy. I have to dig. I have to not play these cards in order to dig. Interesting. Can't play attacks. Storm is pretty big here, though. Well, we'll see how big it is. I think I would have preferred uh, Static Discharge this turn. Now I'm vulnerable. Oh, two storms. That's not good. I haven't done any fucking damage. That's also not good. Uh, I think I've lost. I think I've lost. 16, 42, yeah. 9, hold up. 9 plus 12, 21. Nope. 
Can't kill any of them either. And that's a GG. I should have gone around. I didn't think about it. I was like, I only lost like four health in that fight. I also used two fucking potions to do that. Instead of zero. Yeah. If I had focus potion, weak potion in that fight, probably could have won it. Uh, didn't. Sure didn't. That's, uh... Another run thrown down the drain. 7 max HP for a rare relic. It's like, I could have made it. I could have made it. I got real lucky on that transform. It was a run that could have happened. Instead, I biffed it. Why am I such a biffer? I think I take the rare relic, and depending on what I get, that determines where I go. Because I've got a nice and easy 2 elite 2 bonfire going this way. Or I can take a harder 2 elite 2 bonfire going this way. Or I can even take a 3 elite 2 bonfire. Hmm. Well, now I have to think a lot more. So I think I still want to go this way. If I need to, I could take an extra bonfire to hit this elite. So I'm almost certainly taking three elites then. Yeah. Just trying to think if there's any other way I want to do this. I don't think so. I think that looks good. Okay, pretty good opening hand. I'm already out of slurp. Taking one damage here is fine, considering uh, my max health went down. I'm actually only missing one health now instead of like eight. Super early in flame? Sure. Against Hexaghost? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hmm. Well, rip. Rip all these cards. Probably just card remove. Like, I mean, buying anger would be good. It also works really well within flame, but... It's a common. I'm gonna just, like, hope to find it. Or something similar? Ooh, excuse me. Okay, four health down. Wow, you're just... You really like that attack, huh? Now I'm what? 11 health down? Okay, he's dead. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom real quick.
Let's see what our card rewards are. Hey, Smooth Balter. I agree. I agree. Um, it's like... There would be no downside to ending, adding anger to the deck there. Except for the fact that it costs money, instead of nothing. I basically am banking on the fact that I can get something else. I can either find an anger, or just get enough other attacks that it's like, I don't need the anger, and not spend the money. <sighs> Burning Pack, Thunderclap. Thunderclap's alright. Why? Don't know about the speed potion, but... Um, I can take it a little safe here, since he's not weakening me. I can kill him in one move. Made it seem worth... Hmm. It's possible. No, I probably got less damage doing it that way. The other thing is it's not just three leaks, but I also get a third bonfire because of the wing boots. Boom. Boom. These are both bad cards. Boom. Got the anger. Never punished. I guess I could have used the boots to, like, skip this floor. <laughs> so, like, go to a question mark. Doesn't seem like a super great use. Then again, this is, like, a total waste. Total waste of a floor. Let's fight a dude! I might just use- well, I don't really want to use the fear potion here. Might not have to. Hmm, 12 damage is a lot to give up for 5 block here. Perfect. Alright, never mind, we're fine. Um, is he dead? Are you dead? Yep. Alright, wasn't too bad. I'll take... we're up against Hexaghost? Yeah, I'll absolutely take a disarm here. Don't really need to nap. I got a couple upgrades. I think Bash is still probably pretty good. Okie dokie. I like it. Well, it's possible I've killed myself. <laughs> Fucking snack of oil. <sighs> and of course, Bash doesn't get a discount. Why would it? Oh! Not playing super well tonight. I, uh, so I was super tired last night. If you were here and you recall, and I went to bed early, so as not to be super tired tonight. And then, three hours before I intended to wake up, I received a package. And it's like, part of me's mad, because I'm like, fuck, I missed three hours of sleep, I'm gonna be tired. And the other part of me is like, well, it's a package I've been waiting for for a long time, and it came on my birthday. So I was like, fuck, fuck, but... That's where I am right now. Lose all gold for a random rare relic. Have I been offered a random rare relic like every single run tonight? No. I got offered 18 or 14 max HP one time. But it's happened a lot. Man, I threw that run in the trash. I opened the wing boots and just like fucking tossed it. Yeah, this is this is a night for tossing runs, it seems. 
Okay, if my second elite is gonna be that late, I don't know if I'm that worried about the first one being later. The only thing is, um, if this is Gremlin Knob, then I know that this one isn't, which means I know that I can start taking skills, like, immediately. Whereas if it's way later, that means it's way later before I can start taking skills, but if it's not Gremlin Knob, that means I can't take it till here anyway. There's a higher chance that it's not than that it is, so... I could also do this. Suddenly I want to take hallway fights. Suddenly I want to take hallway fights. Five hallway fights? That might be worth more than a third elite. Getting to see like five more card rewards. Because it's only from normal enemies, not from elites, not from bosses. Let's do it to it. Alright, well this is gonna suck. Um, yeah, they hit for 15. Twice. Played that turn wrong. Couldn't knock this guy down to seven. Did not matter. Quick super early after image. I will take a super early after image and a quick slash. All right, cool. This deck is gonna get fat. Uh, I think it's actually just better here to play the three strikes. I don't intend for this fight to last very long, so I don't think After Image is going to get much value here. Beh. Okay, two strikes will kill him. That works. Crippling Cloud's a good card. It's also a skill? It's also a very good card. What's up, jaw worm? Um, mm. all right. Mm. Couldn't really use all my energy there, unfortunately. Uh, still weak though. Thanks, neutralized plus uh, crippling cloud. Not, uh, hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Could I maybe draw cards in a not stupid order? Or would that be just too much to ask? Hmm, it's looking like too much to ask. Still can't kill him. I'll just wait on it. I can be patient. Give him the business. Okay. Die, die, die. Hmm, I think another skill is probably too early for that. I'll take the die, die, die and mosey along. Die, die, die. Off the top. Goodbye, bye, bye. Still gotta take like five damage here. That's dumb. Yep. Then they should be dead next turn. Cool. Hmm. One more attack would be pretty decent. Be like poison stab. I've got the die die die. And the crippling cloud, which makes the dagger spray less necessary. I will take a poison stab. Okay, a couple of idiots. I can handle that. 
This is much better than double rat. Like, for sure. So this just kills you. So if I do this, and then this, and then this. Okay, he has not buffed yet. So I should have, like, free reign to wreck his body here. Cool. That's a noxious fumes. Okay. So... Deadly poison, huh? I don't think I need it, thanks to Poison Stab and Crippling Cloud. Like, the only reason I wouldn't take it here is because of Gremlin Knob. If Gremlin Knob were not a factor, I'd grab it. And then we'd be pretty good for damage for the act. I am kinda low on health. Mm, I don't have any good potions for Lagavulin. This is good for sentries, this is good for Gremlin Knob. Lagavulin? Nah. <sighs> upgrade Crippling Cloud? I think it's a Crippling Cloud upgrade. Alrighty, and it's Lagavulin, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, Lagavulin. Alrighty, well, I guess this is how we're doing it. Get up! Crippling Cloud off the top, Crippling Cloud off the top, nope. Um, I don't want to accidentally draw into it here either. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. There we go. There we go. Get that poison rolling. Okay. Now I just have to not die. Which is gonna be difficult for sure. Fifteen, I need to do twelve damage. Seven. Fuck! I could block for 12 and take 8. Or I could explosive potion and not. Next elite isn't for a while. So I will likely find a different potion to use by then. Hmm. Ginger's not bad. So I still have to worry about Gremlin Knob. How do I feel about Backstab? It's pretty good in a lot of places. I guess that's how I feel about it. It's pretty good in a lot of places. Uh, this idiot can no longer weaken me. Suck my dengus. Okay, so I'm... Basically just get to play all my damage this turn. I can dig it. Um, knocks him down by four, knocks him down to nine. Can I kill him? Thirteen plus eight is twenty-one. Mm, not really. It'd be short eight damage. I'd have to draw poison stab. Pretty much the best I can do here. Alrighty. Nope. Also nope. I think also nope. Is uh, what I'm gonna go with here. Crippling Cloud? No. Also, also nope. Hmm. I've, uh, been bricking. Bricking for a couple of floors here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. I can't be weakened, so I'm actually not afraid of this slime at all. I'm gonna pretend he's not real. And go for this guy. Since, you know, he keeps getting stronger every turn.
Probably should have thought that through. So playing strike prevents four damage, playing defend prevents five damage. So I'm gonna do that. I'll just like take eight. Yeah, because he's already dead. And you're already dead. Everyone died, I win. I'll take a malaise. I think I like this better, because I can already full block here. Oh, was that not full block? Am I crazy? Apparently crazy. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, this is 13 damage over two turns. Although it does cost two energy, but I'm not not using that energy for anything else right now. So, mm, speaking of not using energy for anything, <sighs> alrighty. Two weak potions. Have not added a block card to the deck. So, I think I'm adding either Blur or Deadly Poison. Got two pretty good potions against Gremlin Knob. Got some decent card upgrades. Malaise, Noxious Fumes, and Neutralize. Hmm. If I take the Deadly Poison, I should kill him fast enough. Hexaghost, that is. I think it's the Deadly Poison over the Blur. I could take two weak potions. One for Hexaghost, one for, uh... Gremlin Knob? I don't think so. Sup, big boy? Alrighty. My latest turn one would have been pretty cool. But that's fine. That was also a pretty good turn one, so I'm not really gonna complain. To weak potion or not to weak potion? That is the question. I'm already not becoming vulnerable. To weaken him as well seems a bit extra. I think I'll save it for the Hexaghost. Boom, got to weaken him anyway. <sighs> so let's see. If he takes six, then seven, thirteen, twenty six, thirty three, and he has thirty two health, which means I should be able to just do this. Actually, it would have been more damage efficient to play the Deadly Poison and the Strike instead of the Crippling Cloud, but doesn't matter. Hello. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we definitely have the damage to take Hexaghost now. Question is to nap or not. If I don't nap, his first move is not going to be that big. Um. Upgrade Noxious Fumes. Is this fight long enough? That I should upgrade Noxious Fumes over Deadly Poison. Probably. I'm not going to play a Deadly Poison every other turn. Which is how often I'd have to play it. For the damage upgrade to be as good as Noxious Fumes is. In this fight, anyway. It's also always upgrading Malaise. But. I think the Fumes. I think the Fumes is going to be better for more fights. No turn one malaise, that's unfortunate. Is what it is. Got some good poison up. Got the full block, thanks, after image. 
You take like 18. We got my poison going. Just like Crippling Cloud and Survivor. Okay. Um, I take a little bit of damage to Malaise here. It's probably just do this instead. This would have been a good tune for Malaise. Well. Um, I'm actually just like killing him, so yeah, uh, I think he's guaranteed dead before he actually gets to hit me, so I'm not really super worried. I'm going to take a bit of damage here. Don't even really need to use the weak potion. Didn't even get to big move. A nightmare. I have no way to use Nightmare for anything worthwhile. Yet. There are ways, though. <laughs> well laid plans. I have a prayer wheel. So my chances of finding well laid plans are pretty good. Which makes Nightmare a lot better here. It does still cost 3 energy, which is a problem. But I think that's the pick. So there's a runic pyramid. How am I like playing cards out of my hands? I'm not. Can I take two boss relics? Can I just like also be offered a Pandora's box and just get Pandora's box and runic pyramid? Because I'd take that. I'd take an astrolabe. Yeah, I didn't remove any strikes. Hmm. That's gonna be a problem. Nightmare is just gonna sit in my hand a lot of fights. If I had prayer wheel and question card, maybe I'd take the busted crown. But I don't. So I won't. <laughs> Alright, solves that problem. We are up against Automaton. This is a, uh, yeah, cost upgrade. Right now, like, Malaise and maybe Crippling Cloud are often my best Nightmare targets. The problem, I'm gonna have so many cards in hand that, like, most of the stuff I add to my hand from Nightmare is just, like, not even gonna fit. So who am I afraid of? Um, Crippling Cloud makes me pretty unafraid of, well, it makes me less afraid of slavers. Problem is both of my AOE cards exhaust themselves, which is not great against Gremlin Leader. I could like Nightmare die die die. Malaise is also pretty good there. Malaise is pretty good against uh, Book of Stabbing as well. Three energy, however, is not as good. <laughs> if I Nightmare Malaise and like Malaise him down by nine, well, then I don't have to worry very much. Then the most damage he can hit me for is 15 with his single attack. And his multi-attacks would do literally zero damage. That requires like four turns to pull off, though. Which is not something I can really afford to go for. Once again, I can do three bonfires, two elites. I think I like that plan. Hmm. Wish I had that turn up here. Ginger's pretty good, though. It's a bit better against Snake Plant since he also weakens me. Um, Malaise is a card that I could play. Malaise blocks for one less than defend here, but it also blocks like every turn, and defend doesn't. God damn. I need after image. 
Like now ish. Of course, I'm not going to draw it because my hand is full of Garbaggio. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Bullet time would have been good. Bullet time would have been pretty good here. For sure. Just like toss that sucker. Okay, he's dead next turn. I'm dead soon, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm taking out maneuver. Hello. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna Malaysia right on turn one. You know what? Hmm. I was thinking of using the regen pot, but now I'm not as sure. I don't think Nightmare is the play here. I'm not sure Nightmare is ever going to be the play for the rest of this run, because I don't see it going very long. Can't be weakened, bitch. Don't particularly care about the dazes. Let's just kill them quicker. This is what, turn three? Going up to turn four? Yeah, I could have used the potion, I'm sure. He should be dead pretty quick. He just he just keeps uh trying to put that weakness on me. And I'm not having it. Alright, so now I just frown if uh I get another potion. Okay. What about cloak and dagger? It's pretty good with after image. It's a block card which I don't have. That's a concentrate plus. Oh it's Neko! This is a potential problem. Um, yeah, let's drink this here. Save out for maneuver for when he's actually hitting me. So I need him to die pretty quick. Discount on the nightmare is kind of nice. Everything else, less nice. Um, he's not hitting me very hard. I also have a ton of energy this turn that I don't get to save. It's possible I was supposed to nightmare that. You know what, nightmare the neutralize. Here we go. Alright. Got him weak for the whole fight. Um, the rest of what's happening in my hand is pretty fucking terrible, though. Yep. Let's take 20 damage off the top. Well, the powers were free. That was nice. Hmm, boy oh boy. Alright, I miss one health. Oh, no I don't. It goes off before the poison. And venom. I did not see the concentrate in that fight. Um, if I had like three more concentrate pluses, I'd probably grab an acrobatics here. It's hard to take in Venom without like mummified hand. Deck already has a hard enough time actually playing the cards in its hand. Okay. Go for big bet. Sick. Ah, uh, huh. Malaise you. Backstab you. And let's see how it goes next turn. Okay. Oh 
So they have lethal on me. Nine, seventeen. God damn it. You know what I need to nightmare? I need to nightmare fucking concentrate plus. That's what needs to be nightmared. It's a long winded way to prevent eight damage. All my energy, all my scaling, all my stuff. Oh, you're not even weak anymore. That's a problem. It's like 25 damage. 5, 18, 24, 30. Hmm. Can't kill him. No defensive scaling in this deck at all. I'm going for 18. I die. Oh. That means I have to do this. Yep. <sighs> Smells like the end of the run. Or... Hmm. Thank you very much, Live High. Seven. Fuck. If I had, like, a Vajra... Oh boy. Well, I also drew piss poorly. I guess Runic Pyramid and Prayer Wheel is kind of like a recipe for bloating your deck out and bloating your hand out. Thirteen, no, seventeen, not even eighteen. Well, hold up. Thirteen plus four, seventeen. Seventeen plus six. It's one damage short. It's one damage short. And then, well, no, I'd still die. Yeah, there's no interactions up here. Damn. That's super unfortunate. Okie dokie. On to the defect once again. It's a f fucking fruit fly on my table. Got him. Max HP or remove a card. Max HP is not bad. Oh man, I'll be so happy when I'm not goddamn tired, which will probably be like Friday. <laughs> yeah, he does indeed. Oh, also, if you didn't notice, um, the donation incentive has swapped over because Twitch paid me. So as soon as I'm done the Dark Souls run, we're gonna be doing um. Voice Star's Revenge, the Link to the Past Randomizer Hell Seed. Twitch paid me. Hmm, well, that's one way to go. Yep. One, two, one, two. Eh, alright. So I think. Max HP is fine. Probably remove a card of the shop after I've had a chance to actually look at two cards. Well, like, look at six cards, but you know what I mean. One damage here is fine. You dead. Super early cool headed. Hmm. Excuse me. Alrighty.
Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I'll just try to block as much of it as I can. I can kill you in one hit because I did not get weakened last turn. Pop your shell. Okay. And I got him. No problem. Man, I did not get offered very good attacks. It was Barrage and Bullseye. Oh, that event was a fight. Oh shit. All right, fine. I thought I thought that was the second fight before the for the shop, so I'll uh yeah, I'll skip it here then. I do have an attack potion. Oh, I guess I didn't need to play both the defense, did I? Twas foolish of me. Right, good news is he's already almost dead. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Cool. Guess it's a claw. Yeah, there's no way to... Nope. To the left it is. Rip. Ah, uh, compile driver's a card. Hmm. Or would I rather just take the uh, vulnerable pot and hope for something else from this fight? I mean, I do have an attack potion. Attack potion plus vulnerable pot should more than get me through that fight. On top of, you know, what I already have, which is, uh, admittedly, not much. Claw. Claw, cool-headed. You know, the staples. Man, you were just one rude boy. Since he's not running away, then Zap gets me as much, if not more, damage. Well, he's down to four, and I think he only blocks for like six. Yeah, almost didn't make it. Boo secrets. None of the elites. In Act One, attack turn one. Neither do any of the bosses. That makes it much worse this early. Ah, <sighs> okie dokie. Interesting. Do I want to attack potion here? I think I do. Compile drivers, all right. Cool. Helps me chew through some of the dazes. I could probably want to get the other zap up. And I ideally like to keep one of each orb, which I guess since I have one orb that, or one card that grants me a lightning orb and one that grants me a uh, frost orb, it seems pretty likely that I'm going to be able to manage that. 13 damage twice. Ouch. Don't think I want to dual cast here. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, not quite full block, but that's fine. There's a chance I draw enough to be able to kill him next turn. Please, please, Zarn Jesus. Let the lightning hit that back, man. Fuck. Fuck. 
I don't even know. What did we take? Like one damage? I guess that's fine. Here, I'll dual cast here since it's, you know, actually prevents a bunch of damage. So I just need to hit him with like anything and I win? Cool. Well, that was a rough fight, but we got our potion back. Mmm, man. I'm really not seeing cards that I'm wanting. Fighting Hexaghost again. Uh, yeah. Remove another strike. It makes it easier to cycle Claw. Okay, that's a good one. Hmm. Nope. This defrag run sale, I would have picked it up. I think these potions are fine. These are great relics, can't buy them. See you later, shop man. Do I need to nap? My deck is bad. <laughs> it's like, I got two potions, but the, the cards, the cards are having an issue. Not being trash. I was upgraded! <sighs> Could've had two lightning orbs. Could've done three damage to somebody, maybe killed him... ...with an unupgraded strike. This very turn. I should, like, block. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, 10 damage. 10 damage. Got him! Um, already full blocking, so... See you later, see you later. Cool. It's gonna be Gremlin, though, but I'm gonna hate my life. What you got, big boy? Yep. Oh, that's, uh, hmm. It's, like, not ideal. I'm just gonna, like, throw both of these at him. Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> got, like, six energy. Nothing to do with it all, but I've got it. What are the chances I can actually kill him next turn? Probably pretty high. He'll still be vulnerable. Oh yeah, and I'm drawing Centennial Puzzle? Yeah. He's like absolutely dead. Alright, cool. Use all my potions. Don't have a plan for Hexaghost. Put a Compile Driver actually in my deck? That seems like a reasonable move to make. There's no way I... Like... So is the plan to scale off of Claw? I think that's the only plan. I think that's the only plan that could possibly work. I don't think it's going to work, but I think if anything's going to work, it's going to have to be that. Fucking Claw scaling with a single Claw in my deck and not like like mediocre card draw. I just like have to play all my card- fuck. Wait, no, 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 Claw costs zero. Shit. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, Centennial Puzzle. There we go. Even more synergy. It's all about that claw, baby. Drew all my card draw. In the same fucking hand. Cool. Didn't draw claw. Did manage to perfect block, though. Oh baby, it's up to seven damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely dead. This fight is over. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just frantically digging for Claw. Oh my god, he's already halfway around. Nine damage. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, fuck it. 
I'm absolutely toast. <sighs> nice hands. Nice hands you got there. Well, that's what happens when, like, uh, you know, you don't, you don't see any good cards. Yikes. That's what happens when you throw away your good run earlier and then just, like, keep going. Oh, fuck. Where the hell did I die? It was a gremlin knob. I had 22 health and he was hitting me for 24 and I didn't notice. And I probably couldn't have done anything about it, but... Uh, what are my shenanigans? Mm, potentially double shenanigans. Unlikely, but potential. Doesn't really let me get any extra stuff, though. Hey, Fulwar, how's it going? Do I have any good plays without doing that? I can just do two at least two bonfires going this way. And take the max health. And take, like, three hallway fights. That seems much better. I think the max HP is much more useful. Yeah, let's do that. Do work at work. I am very tired. I was very tired last night. And I went to bed early. So as not to be so tired tonight, so that, you know, I wouldn't play so badly. And then, three hours before I had intended to wake up, a package arrived. So, I had to wake up and get it, and I was just like, fuck. <sighs> so I'm tired. <laughs> and it is definitely affecting my gameplay. Uh, yeah. I'll take a floor one pommel strike. Well, I'd rather... Instead of blaming it if I die, I'd rather play better and die less and win more. It's like I could blame it or I could not die because I'm playing better, which is the outcome I'd prefer. <sighs> Got him. I was like, alright, three strikes will kill him here, and then I just like, four strikes, okay. Yep. Even, like, even the fear of Gremlin Knob will not keep me away from a floor two battle trance. Okay, weakness is a pain in my bum, that's fine. Uh, nope, I am weak, so I cannot do that. You're gonna keep me that way, aren't you? Do it like that, should be able to kill him next turn. Oh my god. Oh, you're giving me a shrug it off. Oh, this deck is becoming really bad against Gremlin Knob. I just gotta really hope. I just gotta really hope this isn't Gremlin Knob. Dex pot. Not super great. Okay, it's like a woolen. Um. It's still not great. But it's not that bad. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just reshuffled the deck without. Uh, shrug it off in it. Is there, like, a better spot for Dex Pot than here? Eh. Not really. Yeah, Gremlin Knob is the big red fuck face who hurts a lot. Yep. He's the dude who gets butt mad whenever you play, uh, powers. Or not powers, skills. I need to do a lot of damage. Hello. Hmm, wasn't that much. Wasn't that much.
Okay, like he's definitely vulnerable for the whole fight. Cool, got him. I could have blocked a little bit more. Red Skull. Two battle trances. Fuck. It's really hard to say no to two battle trances. Um, I might have to nap. Like, it takes me out of Red Skull, but also my deck is bad, so... A Whetstone. Okay, cool. Those are literally the two best options. Trances with a C. Uh, hmm. I am having problems. Give me another strike. Holy fuck. <sighs> Alright, got rid of him. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't type exclamation card. You just type battle trance. Exclamation point battle trance. There you go. Uh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, all my blocks are here. I'm gonna play that, because I'm gonna want to defend anyway. Alright, cool. Just barely doesn't kill you. Whatever. Alright. Uh, luckily, things lined up to where I didn't have to take, like, any damage. Okay, now I just kill him next turn. See you later. Perfect. No, no. I, like, have to take clothesline. Okay, wasn't Gremlin Knob. It was never Gremlin Knob. Gremlin Knob was a myth. I guess I'm playing that. Don't know how good Speed Potion is going to be here. Um, not really anymore. I used to. I don't have time to play it these days. I still have cards on my desk. Um, I work at a card shop, so, like, it's still a thing I interact with on a daily basis. I don't really actively play. I'd like to. Um, I tried to get into Magic Arena. I tried to stream it, but it's like, well, my audience was here for Slay the Spire and not for, uh, MTG Arena, and I was also much worse at MTG than I am at Slay the Spire. So it was just like one of those things. Ah, yeah, I can't draw cards. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Like, I knew I did the same thing in Hearthstone where I built a top tier deck out of just free to play. Um, and I can do the same thing in uh, Magic Arena if I wanted to. The problem is I didn't have time. The only way I was going to be able to play Magic Arena is if I was streaming it. And streaming it was not a plan that ended up working out very well, so it just didn't happen. Maybe someday in the far future. Jesus Christ. See, like, I know, I know how to play Magic reasonably well. But it's like, you also gotta, you know, you gotta build up your deck. Why? Oh, Red Skull. I was like, why are these dealing 12 damage? Yeah, like, I would have been perfectly happy playing MTG Arena. Yikes. Red Skull's a very good relic. It's uh, Ironclad only. To clap or not to clap? Eh, keeping more vulnerable is pretty nice. It also gets rid of artifacts. Hello, I do have some money. Fiend fire. Okay. 
Um, it's competing with a happy flower. I think Feed Fire's probably fine, especially with the two battle trances. Yeah, just gonna take the Fiend Fire. Remove a strike. Cool. <clears throat> Wait, did I drop the upgraded strike? Told you. It's just, uh, straight up, straight up sleepy. God damn it. Um, hold up. Six. Oh, Jesus, I could, I could do a lot of damage with this. A lot more than I need to. Hold up, if I go, go up to six. Oh, no, I can't do that shit. Fuck, I didn't think this through. I wonder how that happened. Ah, crap. I hit the wrong target. Because I, I thought I was still going to be able to block and fiend fire. Somehow. I don't know how. But I thought that was going to be a thing I could do. Yeah, Plame Tired. Basically. If I could kill him on a turn where you're not fucking hitting me, that would be really cool. I guess I could just do it like this. Yeah, that, that's fine. Now, don't hit me next turn. Well, no, you're still hitting me. That's, uh, that is definitely still occurring. Could I have just killed him somehow? Nope. Well, actually, if I didn't play the... Yeah, I think I could have. Said I get to take a bunch of damage. Hey. Well, probably gonna end this as soon as we finish the act, because I am sleepy and it's about that time anyway. Probably could use that speed potion. Well, Some guaranteed scaling. It's hard to put into play, but it's, uh, it does its job. It is nearly 3 a.m. This fight is not gonna last five turns. Yeah, I stream late, late night. Everything I see in front of me sucks. Cool. Oh boy. Fuck. Um, yeah, I'll take it. None of those. Alright, so we're gonna nap up. Dump all our damage on this boy. Maybe? Yes. Well, I'm not gonna drop the fire potion yet. We'll see. We'll see what I can make happen. I'm going to assume not much. Yep. Alright, this is gonna suck. Uh, Demon Form is pretty much going to carry me, though. About to turn my deck into... Five cards? Um... Shit. I make him vulnerable first. What does this do? This will do eight. 21 times 8. It's a lot of damage. Oh, even more than that. Uh, see you later? Yeah, this is gonna flip him. This is gonna flip him, alright. 
All right, good turn. Might have to use this fire pot just because, uh, yeah, that's every card in the deck. Oh, hey, I can play it twice. <laughs> Suck it. Um, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, he super flipped. Flipped right out. Full block. Just like actually kill him next turn because I know what my hand is. Like, see you later. Goodbye. Didn't really need to use the poison potion. Two demon form seems a bit much. Emulate's pretty good though. Emulate's very good. That's a Sneko eye. That's a Sneko. Wow, these are all good relics. Uh, but I think it's gotta be Sneko eye. Sneko eye makes Fiend Fire better. Makes Demon Form better. Makes Immolate better. Makes Battle Trances worse, which is a shame since we've got two of them. But you know, Sneko eye kind of does their job already. And Centennial Puzzle, drawn a lot of cards. Alright, well unfortunately it is that time once again, so if you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1am till 3am Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 22 hours from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute linked down below. And feel free to join... The community you discord. You can check out previous episodes oh Jesus, Fire shut up. Other shut up me, Christ. Why wasn't that auto-muted? <laughs> check out the community discord, uh, which is also linked down below. And we're going to go raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thanks for joining me and have a good night.